I get a lot of comments on my channel. You know, people seem really distraught and they say like the world is falling apart or, you know, they're very negative on the world falling apart. And I, I think the world, it was always like that. It was always messed up um, at our level, you know, the jungle, imagine living in the jungle. You're like a little tiny insect, you know, it's a violent world out there in the jungle, you know? Um, I think it's always been that way. And I think what's changing now is that we're just seeing more, we're getting more knowledge of what's actually going on. And so I don't think anything's failing worse than it has in the past, actually. Um, I think the opposite is we're going to now see uh, amazing breakthroughs, um, fantastic knowledge. You know, there's just too many coincidences. I've covered a lot of these on my channel. But there's so many physics related um, coincidences just with the math. And there's this general consensus that we really know what we're talking about. And it's just not true. Um, if you really look into it all, and I mean, I literally mean all of our science, all of our knowledge, all of it. When you go down like three levels, you know, if you just like a kid, you know, if you just ask why like three times, you will undoubtedly get to an answer where, cause that's the way it is. Um, and that's across all of our sciences. You know, we, there's so many things we, we just, we have no clue about, you know, we, we don't know where inertia comes from. I, I think that's a pretty big physical problem. Like if you don't know where inertia comes from, you really can't say that, you know, anything about physics. Like you can't say that space time or all of our, any of our theories on physics are in any way accurate. If you can't say what is the source of inertia, you know, why do things weigh things? Why does anything weigh anything? Um, you know, we don't know why uh, there's radiation. We don't know why a nucleus radiates. You know, you've heard about all these things all your life, right? Like, oh, that's radioactive, that material, uranium. But we, we don't know why. We have no idea why a, a, a nucleus suddenly radiates, you know? And I just found this out this year, like, and I was a material scientist. Um, like if a neutron is out on its own, right? If it's not inside of a nucleus, it just disappears in 10 minutes. It turns back into a proton and an electron, and some like anti-neutrino. It'll just disappear, right? Um, we don't know where consciousness comes from. We have no idea. Like we can't even devise an experiment that tells us what consciousness would be. Like we can't even, can't even think of an experiment <laughs> for like why I have a conscious experience. That's like the one thing I can prove at least to myself is going on like this could all be everything could be fake you could totally be fake all of this could be fake at least i know i'm having an experience like something is happening to me even if everything is just a simulation and we can't even think of a of of a experiment we can't even think of a way to test that in any manner you know um so there's just there's huge holes in in all of our science um uh, and one other example is which I love, and I've thought of this recently, and no one even considers it. Um, but we, so we, we, and we have pretty good evidence, right? That the earth is 4.6 billion years old based on carbon dating, all that. Um, and so we say that stars are 10 billion years old, right? We say the sun is 10 billion years old. Well, like red dwarf stars, they can live trillions of years actually in our current model. Okay, so the earth is almost 5 billion years. Our sun is 10 billion years. And yet, like we say this and believe it, is that the entire universe, right? This giant, unimaginably large place is less than three times the age of our planet. You know, the, and they say it with wonder. They're like 13.8 billion years ago. Like it's so long. It's like, dude, billion years is, is nothing. You know, like the earth is 5 billion years. And do you know how tiny, how tiny the earth is compared to the galaxy? It's, it's it's nothing, you know, um, it's actually 10 to the seven meters and the galaxy is 10 to the 21 meters, you know, um, what is that? 14 orders of magnitude larger. And yet we, we really think, and they say this and our smartest people and our astrophysicists and people we give Nobel prizes, they really believe that the entire universe is 13.8 billion years old. And yet the earth is only five is, is and the earth is 4 billion years. It's just, it's so ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I see that all changing. And when that changes, I think when people can be or, more open-minded to realize that all these things that we think we knew were 
totally not true. Then I think they can come to these serious questions of, okay, you know, what is the nature of reality? What is the nature of UAPs? What is the nature of consciousness? And then I, I kind of see us then getting a win to where we'll understand this uh, phenomenon.